what's up y'all i said what's up y'all look at me when i'm talking to you bro nah i'm just messing with y'all man this is knockout boxing 86 tv and we in here so check this out bro before i get going on today's video please be sure to hit that like button subscribe to the channel if you're new here excuse me and share the video bro if you come through and watch the video be sure to hit that like button put your seatbelt on when you hop in my car and also hit that notification bell so you can get notified when i drop this daily content on y'all bro and also comment down below i want to chop it up and talk boxing but i can't do it unless you leave a comment so be sure to comment down below so we can chop it up and talk boxing and um also if you want to have me hop on the panel knockout boxing 86 at yahoo.com is the email but let's get it popping let's get into today's video and today we're talking about tyson fury deontay wilder and dillian white that's right we got to bring dillian white in on this and I got to give y'all my whole breakdown on it and what I think Deontay Wilder should do. We're addressing this situation from his perspective. Also, bro, live show, before we get into the content of the video, live show this Wednesday, July 14th. It's going to be a good one, man. We're going to go for an hour and a half this week, bro. And we got the extra 30 minutes on there because I'm doing an interview, the first part of the show. We're going to be interviewing the young phenom, rising star in boxing, Kasir Goldston, bro, and he is an absolute beast of a prospect. We're going to talk to him, so please, man, y'all come through early because he's going to be the first part of the show, um, and if you got questions, be sure to have those ready because I will try to read questions from the chat, and if you don't know who he is, you need to go find out, and you need to jump on the bandwagon right now, bro. The young man can fight, bro, so be sure to tune in, and you got knocked the F out, episode two this Wednesday at 7.30 p.m. Central Standard Time. But let's talk about it, man. Deontay Wilder, Dillian White, Tyson Fury. For those of y'all that have been somewhere on another planet, Tyson Fury done pulled out or uh, of the Deontay Wilder fight that was supposed to happen to July 24th. They have a tentative date set for October 9th, but we all know how Tyson Fury is. We can't believe shit until that day and they in the ring together. That's where I met with it. Now, what should happen? Dillian White, Eddie Hearn, they've come out and tried to put his name in and say, we are ready. We are ready to fight on July 24th. We will step in. Some people believe Deontay Wilder should go ahead and do that since he's already been training. He's already in shape. And a lot of people believe Dillian White's chinny, flip, chinny self will get his ass knocked out. That's what a lot of people believe. So... Deontay Wilder, they want him back in the ring. They want to see him fight. He already got a date. They want to see, um, they want to see him in the ring. So people are pushing for that. Me personally, bro, he can't do that shit. He can't do that shit. It's too many moving parts. Number one, that will affect his stuff that he got going on with Tyson Fury. That could void every piece of paperwork, everything he went to arbitration to win, everything he did leading up to this point will be affected by that if he decides to take that fight. And that'll give Tyson Fury the way out that I believe he's looking for. I believe he's trying to get in as best shape as possible. And he know he's not in shape for the fight. So that's why he's pulling this COVID-19 shit. Remember, you, you just so y'all know, if you haven't watched my other previous videos on this topic, you're dealing with a content creator that believes Tyson Fury is lying about COVID-19. Let's just keep it. Let's just make sure that I preface everything that I'm saying with that. I don't believe him, bro. If you need to know the reasons why I don't believe him, you don't really follow boxing like that. I don't believe liars, bro. I need it corroborated by a trustworthy source. I don't believe Top Rank when they talk. I don't believe Tyson Fury when he talks, bro. He's lied too much. He's cheated too much. He's a damn cocaine addict, bro. So I don't believe him. So make sure y'all understand that as you're watching this video. So with that being said, bro, Deontay Wilder should not fight Dillian White unless it's a couple of things, bro. It's a couple things. Number one, a couple things need to happen for me to be on board with this, and I'm going to let y'all know, right? Number one, Tyson Fury need to be stripped, bro. Not put in recess to where he can try to wiggle his way back in. He need to be outright stripped of the title. Outright stripped. That's one thing that I would need to see happen. And then obviously, Deontay Wilder and Dillian White would need to fight for the WBC championship. That's one point. And if that happens, I still wouldn't take the fight if I was Deontay Wilder. I would need a second thing if I were him, bro. I would need a second thing if I were him. Since Dillian White's promoter 
and Hamdala is Eddie Hearn. If I was Deontay Wilder, I would say, look, he could step in on the 24th. WBC, I'm willing to do this if, A, you strip Tyson Fury because I need to be fighting for the title. And then, Eddie Hearn, you want your fighter to step in? You want him to get all this buzz, all this shine? You want him to fight me? Cool. He can fight me on July 24th. If A, it's for the real WBC title, and B, I need to be guaranteed in writing a shot at the winner of Usyk and Anthony Joshua once, once they fight. I need a shot at the winner. In writing, boom. If those things can happen, then your boy Knockout will be all for this fight. Because if they don't happen that way, it leaves too many rooms for opening. Because, see, even if Deontay Wilder fights for the WBC title against Dillian White, let's say the WBC strips Tyson Fury and Dillian White and Deontay Wilder fight for the title. Tyson Fury could still, and Anthony Joshua could still try to make some, some fight happen and act like it's for undisputed when it's not, bro. Like, I see the play. And they'll just be like, oh, Deontay Wilder, Tyson Fury already beat him. He's not the real champion. This is for the real undisputed over here. This is the biggest fight in boxing over here. So the way that you keep that from happening if you Deontay Wilder is you got to get shit in right. And if you don't get that, and he always cover his bases, bro. You know what I'm saying? If you don't get that, then no way, shape, shape or form should he be taking a fight with Dillian White, bro. It need to be for the title because... Tyson Fury was stripped, not put in recess. And then he needs to be guaranteed a shot at the winner of Anthony Joshua and, and Alexander Usyk. That's the only way I would take that shit if I was Deontay Wilder. That's my, that's my thoughts on it. You know what I'm saying? That's what I believe he should be doing. Realistically, though, I don't believe the WBC is going to strip Tyson Fury, although I think it's the right move and, and what would be better for the sport. I believe... He, I mean, it's just a, a history of shit, bro. It's a history of shit with Tyson Fury. The shit he did with Klitschko, bro. The Nangelone shit. The lying constantly, bro. The lying constantly. Leading on fans. Like, bro, at the end of the day, the biggest issue is that how many people bought tickets, bro, to this fight? How many people bought tickets to this fight? How many people booked hotel rooms that they can't get money back for? How many people bought plane tickets that's flying in from all over the world, all over the country for this fight that they can't get their money back on, bro? Like, shit like this. And then, again, I think he's lying about COVID. But let's say you believe he's telling the truth. Let's say you believe that he went and got one COVID shot but didn't get the other, bro. That doesn't make it better, fam. It don't make it better. He's either lying about this shit, right? He's either lying about it or he's negligent and unprofessional. Unprofessional, excuse me. All of which are reasons that boxing needs to be done with Tyson Fury, bro. I know I'm done with him. If he fight, if, if he don't fight Deontay Wilder, bro, or it's not a fight with, like, once this whole saga's done, bro, you'll never hear me mention his name again. I'm done with him, fam. Like, he just, he, he a cancer in boxing, bro. People talk about what's cancers in boxing and what's bad for boxing. This shit right here, whether you want to admit it or not, this shit horrible, bro. This shit horrible. It's a bad look because I don't care, bro. Let's say you bought tickets and you was a Tyson Fury fan. You should be pissed, Right? Money green. Money ain't got no colors. Money ain't, ain't, ain't biased. If you spent your money on this shit, regardless of who you rooting for, you should be pissed because you ain't getting your money back, bro. They're going to try to tell you you can still have a good time, still come to Vegas. They're going to try to tell you we can come to your room for another day. We can take the plane tickets that you bought. You don't want to go here. Is there somewhere else you want to go? You're not getting your money back, bro. So I believe, and then just all the line and shit, bro, boxing should be done with Tyson Fury. So in my world, in the knockout world, he will get his ass stripped and boxing be done with him. Because cause I, I believe that he just he just bad for the sport. Back to Deontay Wilder on what he should do. I mean, he can't do nothing but wait. That's the smart thing to do, bro. He can't do nothing but wait. You know, get, try to get an extension because I believe the whole arbitration thing they, they, they said – by you know September fifteenth, they need to they need to push that. Continue to put the pressure on. You know, get that shit extended, so there's no wiggle room. There's no there's no way out. You know what I mean? And then he just gotta wait till you know they they reset the date, and then come again, bro. He has to force 
Tyson Fury to either fight him or retire at this point, bro. Like, at the end of the day, like, I know as boxing fans, we want to see these guys in the ring. We want to see we want to see an end to this saga. But if you, you got to look at it like this. If you Deontay Wilder, bro, and you went through all of this shit for the past 17 months, since February of 2020, it's July. You done waited this long. I mean, what's a couple more months, bro? What's a couple more months? Now you you gear that up and you let somebody skirt out? Because that's all they're looking for. In my opinion, they're looking for two things. Primarily, I believe Tyson Fury wants a way out. I believe he's trying. They're, they're, they're looking and, and, and hoping and, and wanting a way out of this fight. Number two, if he has to fight Deontay Wilder and he can't find his way out like he's trying to do, he know he ain't in shape for this shit. By all reports, he's been getting his ass whooped and sparring, as we said yesterday. By all reports, he's out of shape. Just look at him, bro. He's out of shape even for himself, bro. Even for himself, he out of shape. So this is buying time, bro. Like, damn, okay, let me let me do the COVID thing. Let me act like I really got COVID, you know what I'm saying? And, and then what I'll do is, shit, either at one, we'll, we'll hopefully find our way out of it, give us some more time to see if we can maneuver and wiggle. Or if we can't maneuver and wiggle, it bought me more time to get ready for the fight so I can train some more because my ass ain't in shape. It's all a play. It's all a game, bro. It's all a game. And we know Bob Abram hate losing in negotiations. He hate losing in, 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 in accord and in arbitrations and shit like that. So they had no intention. It just further shows that they had no intention, intention and they continue to have no intention of fighting Deontay Wilder. And they still looking for a way out. But there's no loopholes here, in my opinion. There's no loopholes. Tyson Fury is either going to have to retire or he's going to have to fight Deontay Wilder, bro. And if I'm Deontay Wilder, you force him to retire. And if he retires, then you, you have an opportunity to probably sue his ass, bro. You have an opportunity to probably sue his ass. And that's where I think it's going to go, bro. And honestly... I, at this point, bro, I just want the shit to be over. So hopefully they can fight. The tentative date is October 9th. We'll see, bro. Like, at this point, you know, we, we don't know what's going to happen. But what I will say for the whole Dillian White, Deontay Wilder, no way in hell should he do this unless he can use this shit to get Tyson Fury all the way to hell up out this, the sport. That's why if the WBC strips his ass, and him and Dillian White are fighting for the title. And then he get an ironclad guaranteed contract in writing with everything that he wants to wear. If he beats Dillian White, then he gets the winner of Anthony Joshua Alexander Usyk for Undisputed. Not six months down the road. Not, you know, two fights from now. His very next fight. And get it in writing. Get it ironclad or some shit to wear. Same thing. If they don't give you that fight, if they try to wiggle their way out of it, then boom, you can hit him with the litigation too. That's the only way he should fight Dillian White July 24th, bro. That's the only way. If he can get all that shit taken care of and all that shit in writing and they can just kick Tyson Fury's ass to the side, I mean, that would be great. Then I'd be all for it. But unless that shit happens, bro, he got to stay in pat, y'all. He got to stay in pat. He got to stay firm. And he just got to stay ready so that he don't have to get ready, bro. He got to stay prepared so there's nothing to prepare for. And just be ready when the time comes, bro. Because you done already waited, waited this long. It's, it's, it's the middle of July. What's waiting to the, to, the end, to the beginning of October? July, August, September, October. That's 90 more days, bro. That's 90 more days. The same shit I said about Cambosis. Just sharpen your skill set. Stay ready. Use it as fuel. Use it as motivation. And if you get them in the ring, handle your business. And if you Deontay Wilder and somehow he's able to retire or some shit, force that shit. Then it's a clear and blatant duck and we all know what it is. And then you sue his ass, bro. But don't let up. Don't let up. You got him backed all the way into a corner. You got him running and, and ducking and, and dodging and all of that shit. You just keep doing you. You stay firm. You stand on what's right. And you'll either get your shot. Or you'll, you'll be victorious in the court of law in the end, bro. But he cannot fight Dillian White unless those, those stipulations are met, bro. Unless it's for the WBC title, no recess for Tyson Fury. They got to strip his ass. And he need a guaranteed shot at Anthony Joshua Alexander Usyk winner, bro. He need that shit in writing. So that they don't try to maneuver around his ass and be like, oh, yeah, he beat Dillian White, but we already had Tyson Fury who already beat him. So this is for undisputed, like... Don't let them do that shit to you, bro. 
because that's exactly what they'll try to do. Y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section. Comment down below, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, put your seatbelt on when you hop in my car. And if you want me on the panel, knockoutboxing86 at yahoo.com is the email. Don't forget to hit that notification bell so you can be notified when we drop our daily content. And last but certainly not least, don't forget about the live show. Live show this Wednesday, July 14th, 7.30 p.m. Central Time, 5.30 on the West Coast, 8.30 on the East Coast. We are interviewing Kasir Goldston, the young phenom, phenom rising star in boxing, man. It's going to be fun, man. It's going to be a fun night, so y'all be sure to tune in to the live show on Wednesday, bro. I appreciate y'all watching. Enjoy the rest of your day, and with that, we out of here. Peace.